Google, an American multinational technology company that specializes in internet-related services and products, has officially declared its developer space open in Lagos, Nigeria. The space was established to provide a space where entrepreneurs, developers, and investors can connect and collaborate with each other. Today we're launching the Google Developer Space. It's part of a two phase commitment that was made by Sundar, the CEO of Google, when he came to Nigeria in 2017. The first part of the commitment was to open the Launchpad Accelerator program and to support over 60 startups from across the continent through training, through mentorship with Google's processes, Google's um, network, and Google's technologies. The second part was to develop a space to house the program and support the developer community that we have on the continent. The newly opened platform was named as a way through which mass digitalization literacy could be developed. This Google space is providing a platform for people to prepare themselves to be digitalized. A platform where young people, older people can come and train themselves. The Federal Ministry of Communications and Digital Economy promised to encourage similar initiatives. The ministry continues to provide and support ventures like this with good policies regulations to encourage their businesses to grow. The minister is always working on, you know, policies that would drive this sort of thing. Reaching potential developers in the rural areas was named as important to the organization. Definitely, there is life outside of the cities, right? And we're very conscious of that. It, we want our impact to be felt, not just in major cities like Lagos, Nairobi, Johannesburg, but also across the various countries we operate in. So in Nigeria, for example, and in other parts of Africa, we have uh, different groups and communities that can help to take the learning to the grassroots. The architect of the space spoke on the importance of design in sparking creativity. One thing that's very important is in this part of the world, people don't prioritize design. They don't prioritize the intellectual property of design, right? They see it as, as an aftermark, afterthought. But think of everything you do every day, right? From the cars you're driving, the glasses you wear, so the bags, everything is designed for a purpose. So when you look at what architects do for spaces, we are now in a place where we are saying we want to design to influence business processes, whether it's to recruit, whether it's to retain your staff, to drive productivity, innovation, collaboration, to even drive the bottom line of your business. It is commendable to see that multinational companies like Google are increasing their efforts in the development of African young talent. Grassroots companies are encouraged to take the same route. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Alibanke Udunui. Thank you.